<laughs> Painting <laughs> projects are a staple here in Home Day. Take a look at this great beachy house makeover by Sharon Greck in the Hamptons. Ooh, Ooh. I'm coming over. <laughs> it's always great to draw your color and design inspiration from natural surroundings, no matter where you are. But certainly here in a beautiful coastal region like the Hamptons, the colors and the vibe is light, bright, natural and airy. Now, those are definitely not the words I would use to describe this house with its wood trim, cupboards, and dark walls. But I am here to change all that with a fresh new color palette. So the first thing I did was repaint the green walls with a nice pale color. I used distant gray on the walls and brought it right up onto the ceiling. It's a really good idea when you've got lots of angles like that to use the same color if you can. It just really opens up the space. Now I wanted a white for the trim, so we used steam on all of the woodwork, the windows, even the inside of the front door. I also brought that up to the upper cabinets in the kitchen. What a difference it makes added a really simple white subway tile and then the homeowner wanted a Carrera marble which I thought was perfect. It mixes the whites and the grays for a very clean finish. For the lower cabinets however I went with shaker gray. It's a nice blue gray, a little bit more of a mid-tone to dark so it helps to ground or, or anchor the existing cork flooring. The wood floor throughout the rest of the living space was in good shape. It was nice solid oak so it was sanded down and lightened to give it a much more casual feel. Now for the living area, the sizal rug is a great practical thing for definitely for a summer home, but I wanted to add a bit more interest, something a little more formal, so the pattern and texture in the layered rug really helps to do that and also helps to ground the sitting area. Now to give the fireplace more prominence, it was built out around six inches and clad with a nice gray marble right up to the ceiling. We also added a nice black stone ledge that's floating and then painted out the existing brass with a high heat enamel. So overall it's nice and clean and the fireplace feels like a real architectural statement. What an amazing makeover. So Sharon is here now to show us how to get the bleachy, beachy look on our furniture. So many people are striving to have that look. It lightens up a space. It really does, and it doesn't always have to be just white, but I was so yeah. inspired by the bleached floors in that house project. I mean, if you look at the before, it was a typical red oak that a yeah. lot of us have, but it tends to feel very suburban and dated. Right. So uh, the floors were not my project, but when I saw what the contractor did by bleaching them out, I yeah. was just amazed. And it really informed the whole project and the whole color scheme. So let's look so, at the after of the floor so you can see what a difference that makes. I mean, it that. completely opened up the space. I swore it was new flooring. Like yes. I really, when I went there, I, I couldn't believe it. It was just so sh shocking. Yes. So it's incredible. It's incredible. So I really wanted to bring that beachy feel with out, um, you know, we're going to talk about the furniture and how you can do that with furniture, but I wanted to bring that beachy feel, that coastal feel to our set right? and, and show some other ways that you can do it without just going all whitewashed as well, yes, right? it's probably the only time we'll ever see you do a whole place in white. That was it. Like, yeah. that never <laughs> happened. Sharon's like, go green, go yellow, try red. So that was really nice that you could use it there, but here, but here when you look at this set, you don't have to keep it all white. No. This is a this really is, warm, isn't it gorgeous? neutral. What is this This is color? called Jackson Tan. That's and lovely. I haven't used it in years. It's one of the um, historical colors. Yeah. But I thought that it's really natural. It works so well. It reminds me of the, the sand dunes and the Hamptons. Yes. It has a feel. But it's also like it's a bit of a fall color, too. You know, it And it's got some substance. But it still it really, really works nice and calmly. And, of course, bringing in artwork can also bring that beachy mm. feel. Now this was a bit of an Ikea hack. It was a big beautiful um, mural okay. that they have. Yeah. It was a bit too big for the wall. Use some Ikea frames, cut it up. And I think that's nice. a really good idea to think about when you're looking at different ways to bring art into your home. Right. That it doesn't always have to be photographs or um, you know, or preset artwork. So this kind of gave it that, that feel. So it reminded me of the Hamptons. And then of course layering the rugs, which yeah. we, we do a lot, but you've got your traditional sort of sizal and then layer a bit of color and pattern. Again, so it's all about color, pattern, and texture. Yeah. Little hits of white. And then mixing some modern pieces like the modern chairs from Ikea. They're nice and molded. Oh, these very are from simple. Ikea. These are from Ikea. The, I like the material. Like, yeah. I'm not sure what that is, but it feels like almost that recycled. It is. It's like a recycled composite vibe. recyclable yeah. material. So I love what Ikea does um, with being really innovative with yes. a lot of the materials. And it ties in really nicely with the set. But then the table, that's mm. where I wanted to get that bleachy, beachy feel. Yeah. 
yes. because I'm not going to do a whole floor, right. but I can handle furniture. So, yeah. so let's take a picture, Tracy. You're not even going to believe it. If you see the photo of what this table looked like I before. I can't wait till you see the before. So many of us have a table just like this. Right? It's a, like a lovely dark wood, but you're looking for something new. You might be lightening your space. That's the it. The after is, at, like, it this is incredible. It such a difference. And the homeowner has had this table. It's cherished, like, a good, over 20 years. It's, yeah. it's probably an antique. But the color was just dating it so much. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to light. We didn't even know what the wood was, to be honest. So once we kind of went through the process, we stand, sanded it, which is what yeah. you have to do first. Sand off all the gloss, no matter what you're going to be doing, off the urethane. Mm -hmm. So then we saw what it looked like, and it was still a little bit too red. So we thought we want to get that real bleached look. So maybe yeah. this is an opportunity to try the bleach. So we did. So we used a two-part bleach. Um, I actually used um, a Circa product okay. that you can get at any hardware store. Yeah. And it went, this, is, this isn't the exact same color, but just to give you an idea, this was a stained. Yeah. This was sanded. So still a little pinky. Little pinky, yeah. exactly. And then we did two applications of the bleach. And you can keep going mm -hmm. with the bleach. But the thing is, it's not like a typical DIY project. Like you, this is, you know, it's pretty serious. You want to have a well-ventilated area. You want to have your safety goggles. You want to have yeah. your rubber gloves, mm -hmm. all of that stuff, really, you know, really important. But another way of doing it that I wanted to show you, in case you don't want to get into all of that, yeah. is with pickling stains, like whitewash stains. Oh, okay. You know, you could use paint and do a whitewashed effect, but when you really want to get down to the natural wood. Yeah. But I just want to show you that the thing is, with a pickling stain, it's going to be showing the natural color of the wood. Yeah. So in this case, this is a red oak. This mm -hmm. is a white pine. Same stain. One coat, two coat. So you're not going to get that effect of the fully white bleach look without bleaching it, but you can get a, you can definitely get a whitewash look. So there's different okay. ways of doing it for different people depending on your your savviness when it comes to um, to woodwork and sanding and all that. But yeah. again, over top of this, once it's bleached, you neutralized it, mm -hmm. and then I just used a couple of coats of Stays Clear. And this oh, you can I get see. high gloss, you can get a low luster. Why don't you use a low luster so it still feels very rustic? It doesn't even look. I mean, it feels like it's sealed, but it doesn't look like it, and I love exactly. that. It still looks natural. It doesn't look like That's you can ice skate on it. Right, exactly. And exactly. I love that. I feel like that would take away from that rustic look yeah. of it, right? Yes, yeah. so you got to think about the sheen. Very you got to think about the, the sheen. sheen. Sharon, what a good, great lesson right. and what a like huge impact. Sharon's actually brought gift certificates for one gallon of Benjamin Moore. <laughs>